going on, weightlifters and gym goers? I am Dr. Corey Hoffner coming at you live on Wednesday night. Um, if you're tuning in, you're new to the group. I am a doctor of physical therapy as well as a strength and conditioning specialist, and I help gym goers stay in the gym and keep paying for their membership, right, without having to rest or take any time off like their doctors kind of prescribe for them. So we have an awesome topic tonight. We're going to talk about kind of the magical term for how long it takes to rehab something and why 12 weeks, right, or three months is the magical term and what that means and kind of why it's so important and kind of, you know, why it never really gets addressed if you're going to kind of physical therapy and through insurance and things like that. Um, so that will be the main topic for tonight. It'll be short, concise, strict to the point. If you have any questions, feel free to write them down below in the comments, hit like, and subscribe as always. Um, truly appreciate everyone kind of tuning in if you're watching live or if you're catching the replay. All right. And if you know someone else who wants to kind of who can benefit from the replay or anything like that, feel free to kind of post them down below, tag them, um, do whatever you can to get this kind of information to them. OK, um, so with that being said, you should be able to see my screen right now. Hopefully everything is working on the tech side of things, um, but we're going to blow this up. So really, why is 12 weeks so, so important? All right. 12 weeks is so important. Let me move my head out of the way here. Um, hopefully you can see my cursor too, because of these things, right? These are all the kind of different areas of your body, uh, muscle, cartilage, right? Tendons, nerves, bones, ligaments. They're all the things that make up the passive and active structures of your body. Okay. And they're so, so important because they all take different time frames to heal. And it obviously depends on the severity of the injury. If you've had an injury in the past um, and how kind of big or how severe that injury is, like I just mentioned. Okay. Those are the super, super important things. And why is this so important? Like, why are we talking about this and why are we spending so much time on this? Because again, number one, tissue healing timeframes, which we're going to go through in this chart here, you see above you insurance protocols. And number three is variability in individuals. And we're going to go through those three things in detail tonight. So let's start with the most important, which we're going to spend the most time on. It's the guide to tissue healing times. Um, so this is so important. This is not based on me, guys. This is based on research. Um, based on everything kind of I learned in school, everything I've learned through reading different books and different research articles. So muscle on average takes about two to four weeks to heal, right? Depending on what grade strain it is. Um, it could be a grade one, two, or three strain. Obviously with a grade three, it's more severe. Sometimes you have some bruising. Sometimes you have an avulsion injury where that muscle pulls off of the tendon and the bone. Um, it really depends on the severity of it, but grade three is the worst. And that can take sometimes four weeks to heal. Sometimes it could be a little bit longer, guys. This is just an estimation or a time frame. Um, or a grade one strain, grade two can take two to three weeks to heal typically. And it obviously depends on if you're giving it proper time to recover and you're sleeping a lot, right? You're getting the natural seven, eight hours that you need. You're kind of staying hydrated, right? Your diet and nutrition are on point. All those are important factors as well. So that's two to four weeks. Tendons are going to be four to six weeks. So if you have like a tendonitis issue and it's more acute, typically four to six weeks is how long it's going to take you to heal. And that's why insurance is usually giving you a script through the doctor for about four to six weeks. So they'll usually say, go see a physical therapist downstairs or wherever it may be, you know, two times a week for four to six weeks. That's usually about eight to 12 sessions on average. All right, so that is tendon. If you have more chronic tendon issues, like a tendon uh, osis, it's called, which is degeneration of your tendons, like an Achilles tendon issue that you've had for over a year or something like that, then it's going to take longer than four to six weeks. Again, these are estimations um, just based on more current research. All right, if we scroll down here to bones, bones are going to take about six to eight weeks to heal. So if you have a fracture, which is pretty severe, right? Say you like fell while you're snowboarding on your wrist, you fractured like your carpal bones in your wrist. It's going to take on average, if you're a healthy individual, usually if you're under 80 years old, it's going to take six to eight weeks on average to heal. That means you can't put any weight through it. And you're typically in a sling or some, some type of kind of support for that average time of about six to eight weeks. Um, if you're someone with osteoporosis, you're older, say you're like, you know, in 81, 82, um, you have very weak bones, then sometimes it takes a, on average 10 to 12 weeks. So you almost kind of double that time frame. Again, so many different factors play a role here. Um, the next one is ligaments. If we scroll down here, ligaments are about 10 to 12 weeks. So say you sprain like your ACL, your MCL and your knee, um, you know, you sprain maybe like one of the ligaments in your ankle. Um, I don't know if you guys have been watching the World Cup. Um, Neymar for Brazil just sprained his ankle. I think he sprained probably two or three ligaments because his ankle, the lateral side of it on the outer part was just huge. But, they, you know, he has access to an acupuncturist. I read a chiropractor and a physical therapist. And it's crazy, but he you know, waited like, I think it was four to six days and just rehab the heck out of it. And they used like uh, Normatech compressions. They used ice and then he was boom back on the field. Um, and he was loading it too. Load is so important too, because you got to load those ligaments, but we won't spend a lot of time on that. Just keep in mind that 10 to 12 weeks is how long it typically takes for a ligament to heal. And again, that depends 
So we talked about a strain up here. So if you strain your muscle, right, typically it's like you, the muscle can't handle a tensile force put on it, or it's too much load placed on it at a time frame. Lig ligaments are the same thing. Just instead of a strain, it's called a sprain. And it's the same, same, same thing. Okay. Cartilage is very similar, right? Cartilage is about 12 weeks. And cartilage, usually like your meniscus here, which you can see that sits between your femur and your tibia bone, that gets worn down. It's most commonly seen in runners, right? Crossfitters, Olympic weightlifters, anyone who's doing a lot of pounding or like hard impact type exercise. And running, especially because it's so, so kind of repetitive, you're doing the same motion over and over again, and you're getting so much impact each time you land. So obviously your form is so important in this and all the muscles strength around that structure, super important. Your ligaments are your primary stabilizers. They're going to help you save your cartilage, right? And then your muscles are your secondary stabilizers. They're also going to help you save your cartilage. So that's why strengthening is so, so important. And you also have to have good mobility to have good strength. So those go hand in hand. And then we go to nerves, right? Nerves are a little bit different. They take a very, very long time to heal. They do heal just at an extremely, extremely slow rate, about three to four millimeters per day. So if you remember from grade school, right? Millimeters are super, super small, right? Smaller than a centimeter. Um, so it takes a very, very long time for those nerves to regenerate. And, you know, different studies say different things help. Um, we won't go into detail on that. But just to recap, right, if you look here, right, muscle is the thing that probably takes kind of the least amount of time to heal to about two weeks. And then we can go to cartilage and ligaments here, which take the longest time to heal, which is about 12 weeks. So that's why I'm saying 12 weeks is the average recommended time that it takes for anyone to heal. That's why when I work, when I work with someone one-to-one, -one, we're working for 12 weeks at least. Sometimes it's 24 weeks. It's double that time frame. It depends on like what we're dealing with and kind of how long they've had the issue for and their mechanism of injury, meaning how it happened. But 12 weeks is a nice safe spot where people should be getting better if it's truly a cartilage or a ligament issue or any of these above issues, right? It just really depends. Um, depends on like what they're doing for work too. There's so many other factors. Um, so if we can move into the number two thing I was talking about before is insurance protocols. Insurance typically give you on range from about four to about six weeks. So if you're dealing with a ligament issue, a fracture or cartilage, Typically, insurance is cutting you off before you can finish and before you can get back to kind of, you know, your pre-injury level or, an, or a level kind of beyond that. So that's why insurance is kind of tough and frustrating because a lot of times if you're not showing improvement just because your body's taking a longer time to heal than the average individual, you know, they're cutting you off because they're not seeing your numbers change on your pain scale. You're not seeing your function improve. Um, or if you improve too quickly on the opposite end of things. Uh, even, you know, you could have good strength, good balance, but you still can't go back to sport because you can't run or cut or land from a jump. They don't care about that. You can go up and down stairs. You can stand for longer than 20 minutes. Then they're going to say you're good to go. So that's the kind of frustrating part about insurance. It could be really tough. And again, that's why I offer 12 weeks or three months so we can kind of give everything here the needed time, the required time, excuse me, it needs to heal. And then we can also start loading it again and then teach you and educate you while you're going through it. So that is the importance of that. And then the third thing is variability individuals. We talked about this a little bit before at the beginning of the call. Variability individuals just means that, you know, everyone's going to heal at a different rate and different time frame, right? Everyone needs to kind of get be on a good diet. So their nutrition has to be key and on point in order to heal. They have to have low stress levels typically, right? It depends on how you deal with stress. If you use it to motivate you or it kind of, kind of knocks you down and increases those cortisol levels. Um, that's super important thing. Activity level super important. And these are just many examples of, you, of things you can kind of look at, guys. And then sleep, like I mentioned before, getting seven, eight hours of sleep. So you have to have all those things in check in order to kind of hit these healing time frames, right? Because you might look at this and be like, huh, I strained my muscle, but it's been like six weeks and it still hurts. Again, these are estimations and it's going to vary from individual to individual. Nothing's black and white in healthcare. And that's the most kind of, you know, frustrating thing to kind of go by and go through. Um, so that is about everything for tonight. So again, guys, the guide to tissue healing times, if you want access to this, um, write down, uh, just comment guide down below, and I will send that to you. Um, feel free to DM me too. I will be happy to send it to you or you can send it to someone else. Um, but just remember 12 weeks on estimation is about the time it takes to heal from any type of these injuries. So if you're three months and you've had pain or something, I think now is a good time to go see a physical therapist, a chiropractor, or a medical doctor, like especially orthopedic. Um, get an x-ray, get an MRI, see and figure out what's going on um, because it's been that long where you need to do something about it now. And guys, if you don't have, I work with people all the time and sometimes physical therapy doesn't work, right? It doesn't always help. 
you know, so I got to kind of just be reliable and kind of own my actions here, right? Sometimes if it's not helping, it could mean something more serious is going on, like a muscle tear, right? Which is kind of above a grade three strain. It could mean that your cartilage is completely gone, okay? It could mean that your nerves severed. It could mean that your bones fractured in multiple areas. It could mean your tendon is actually, um, you know, torn as well, like a fully ruptured Achilles tendon type thing where you actually need to have surgery. Or it could mean your ACL is torn, right? Your ligaments torn. Um, it just all depends. And that's why we have special tests that we do as physical therapists. And we use those with imaging results and combine the two. And those kind of give us an exact answer of what's going on. All right. So guys, if you found this useful, um, definitely comment down below, comment guide if you want this. Um, if you have any questions, same thing, hit that like button, subscribe. And thank you so much for tuning in. I really appreciate it. And we will see you next week in another call. All right, guys, have a great rest of your night.